praying aloud, is it simply ceremonial or can it be a mystical practice that taps into the creative force of the universe? According to the Gospels, Jesus healed people through the use of affirmations and the laying on of his hands, declaring, Be thou made whole, which many people believe is a demonstration of the use of sound and touch in healing. In recent times, science has shown that sound affects matter in more complicated ways than simply shattering glass or setting off an avalanche. In the early 60s, Dr. Hans Jenny documented the creative power of sound. Jenny conducted experiments to show that shape and form owed their shape and form solely to sound. And doctors such as Peter Guy Manners and Mitchell Gaynor are experimenting with the tones to heal the body. For more than 40 years, Elizabeth it Clare Prophet, spiritual leader of the Summit Lighthouse, has taught her form of healing prayer called decrees. Prophet teaches that decrees can be used to access a high frequency energy known as the violet flame. It's crucial to be able to pray to God and give a mantra to the violet flame, such as, I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. When you say the word, I am, you're saying, the name of God. The violet flame is the highest of the spectrum of color. It is a healing light and can be a physical, tangible light. We give mantras, prayers, decrees, meditations to call forth this flame. Those who use it say that when evoked through their prayer and visualizations, the violet flame brings balance, harmony, and positive change for them. I use the violet flame because it eases any pain that I have, especially I have pain in my neck from an old neck injury when I was hit on my bicycle. So anytime my neck bothers me, I give violet flame decrees and direct those violet flame decrees into the area where the pain is and the pain disappears. Danian Brinkley, author of the bestseller Saved by the Light, has had three near-death experiences. The first, 28 minutes long, after being struck by lightning. He lectures around the world about what he saw on the other side and talks about his encounter with the violet flame. In each of the three near-death experiences, I have passed through each of the flames in the color. I have seen the violet flame and dwelled, and at a certain place in the Crystal Cities, I became attached to it. Nerly Duffy is a medical doctor and member of the Summit Lighthouse who has practiced spoken prayer for 16 years. She says these techniques recently helped her go through a life-changing experience. A year ago, I was diagnosed with breast cancer, and my tumor was about the size of a quarter. I used spiritual techniques, including the violet flame, and I visualized the tumor dissolving in the violet flame. And five days later, when the surgeon operated, he found that the tumor had been reduced to the size of a dime. I am a being of While Dr. Duffy used conventional medicine, she says decrees to invoke the violet flame played a significant role in her healing. I am the purity God desires. So I used a number of techniques, including spiritual techniques, for my treatment of cancer. I used the violet flame decrees, and I visualized the violet flame dissolving the cancer. I also um, used a number of medical techniques, traditional and complementary therapies, but I really consider that the violet flame was a key to helping me to take an active part in my treatment. It enabled me to uh, feel well even though I was going through chemotherapy and radiation. In fact, within a week after radiation, I went back to work. Elizabeth Prophet claims that every person has the power within themselves to connect with the violet flame. Are doctors only rediscovering what mystics and spiritual practitioners have been invoking through spoken prayer and visualization for centuries?